Hey everyone, it's Dean, I've got Dom with me. Now do you realise how important churn is to your bottom line? Mm. It is, it's critically important Dean, and I think there's a couple of ways we can look at churn. Obviously we think of churn as it relates to staff and staff turnover, and we also look at churn as it relates to churn of properties within uh, a typical real estate uh, property management uh, portfolio, and I believe they're both, they're both connected. Yep. Uh, so, What is um, the average? The average is about 15% across the, uh, across the mm. industry, and, and, and our insights show that the more that you can work on that churn and look to bring it down, it has a material impact on profitability. So protecting the book, making sure you're maintaining properties, how do you do that? You service your clients, mm. you deliver exceptional client experience, and you do that through your staff. So if you can engage your staff, have staff that are, that are, that are loyal, that, uh, that are a part of a long journey with your business, delivering great uh, service to your clients, your clients will love that and they'll be more inclined to stay. So there's a real link between churn of people mm. and churn of property. And you've talked to me before about if you can take it from 15% down to 10%, that's a huge difference to the bottom line. Yeah, there is. There's a significant, there's, a, there's an exponential link, arguably, between profitability That's a lot of and, money. And churn. Exactly yeah. right. Exponential, a lot of money. Um, so I just encourage everyone to, to look at the churn and, and just make sure they're doing what they can to protect it. Some churn is needed, arguably uh, warranted, yeah. um, but I think just protect the book, protect your staff, have your staff looking after clients and, and delivering a great uh, service proposition. Great point. Cheers.